Hello, fellow commanders, welcome back to some more Elite Dangerous. I've done a bunch off camera. I recorded a batch last week of episodes, so those are all done. And now we're all cut up, all nice and happy. But I completely forgot that everything I did in the Elite Dangerous Horizons beta would not transfer to my game in real life, well, the current build. So that was a little disappointing, but it was also good because in the second episode, our ship did explode. And that was unfortunate, but I guess that means that there's no long-term repercussions from that, so I guess we're in the clear. I have been playing on just a standard uh, game. Uh, the Elite Dangerous is officially coming out tomorrow. Today is Monday, and I actually, it's probably out today because I'm going to be releasing this on Tuesday. But I do have a bit more money now. I would have a lot more. I had about 3 million credits in bounty. Uh, probably about 2. I was uh, hunting in an RES uh, resource extraction site the other night. And I had like two million, and I wasn't claiming them because I wanted to uh, show you guys when I started a new recording, like, hey, they'll watch me claim all these bounties because I'm a real jerk. And I accidentally shot a fed, and I got annihilated. I still actually think I have, yeah, I have a dormant bounty in the system for two more days. <sighs> I had so much. And then I went to some other systems and found him there. They weren't nearly as good. I mean, in the other system, I killed some pythons, some clippers. Uh, it was great, but I got a couple million from Bounty Hunter, and I've been doing some trading, and I found a, uh, a trade route that I kind of want to try today, so we're going to do that right now, just for today. We're going to do some basic trading, not Bolton missions, nothing like that. Again, I found these loops using eddb.io, very helpful website for this sort of thing. But first things first, we're going to check out the commodities market, and here we are at Vision. And we are going to buy some superconductors because I have a destination that has a great need for these. Cargo full. I also did sell some of my components on my ASP uh, to make some more room for cargo. I think I sold the uh, fuel scoop and something else. I forgot what. It might have been the detailed surface scanner. I'm not sure, but we now have 56 uh, cargo slots available. So there we go. We went ahead and bought all... 56 of those. Oops, did not mean to hit that button. There we go. And uh, we're going to pick our destination right now. We are going... So right now we are in Corin, And we are headed to... Uh, where is it? What was the name of this? Was it, oh, Kamoken. There we go. Yes, this is it. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and select our course. Make sure... Yeah, I do have fastest route. There we go. And we're all fueled up, and oh no, we're not. We are not all fueled up. That would have been bad. Though I could have gotten there, no problem. And launch, because I think last time you guys saw me, I only had about a million credits, and I'm ro I'm rolling with what, 3.2 right now? Or oh, we were on 3.5 because I just bought uh, all of that, uh, all those superconductors. So we're we're doing pretty well in terms of cash, money. Pretty happy about it. And I, what's the current value of our ship? If we were to sell it. Okay, uh, just, just uh, balance. Engines engaged. Uh, current assets, 11 million. I don't Bounty think that's... Retracted. Current assets, I don't know if that's the current worth of my ship. I think I saw somewhere that I could sell my ship for, um... Woo, that was bad. I thought I could sneak that. For like 7 million, but it is better if you sell off your individual components to your ship rather than just sell the ship at once, so... I know I could get at least 7 million for it. And combine that with our uh, 3.5 million, so we have what at least 10 billion, 10.5. Um, I keep saying billion, 10.5 million credits, starting. which I don't think. What's the best ship that could buy us? Um, million credits. We could get Imperial Courier. I know that Imperial Clipper oh. is around 22 million, Three. so we, we're about halfway to an Imperial Engage. Clipper. Not quite there, unfortunately. I do love that ship, though. I really want it. And there's an Imperial Cutter coming up, but I don't know if the Cutter is cheaper or more expensive than the Clipper. Uh, I haven't come across one of those yet. All I know is that those are some sexy ships. I could afford a Imperial Courier. Those only cost around $2 million, so I could actually buy that right now and keep my ass. That might actually be worth doing if we try and outfit our Courier um, just for bounty hunting. Actually, our ass might be better than it. I don't know. What do you guys think my next ship should be? I really can't decide. 
Like, I could try and save for a Type 7. A type 7, I think, is only like 17 million. So we're getting close. Um, but with the Type 7, I could do a lot of trading, and I think I'd be able to make money a lot faster, because that has a lot more cargo slots. It would be better if I could two, get a new one, ship without having to sell my current one, but it would just be a lot faster if I could sell my current one. And other than that, I can't really think of any. I guess I could buy a vulture right now and equip that for dogfighting. That would be pretty cool. I would have to find another resource extraction site because I've been doing some traveling. Um, I've been heading back into the core of the system because I started getting systems that didn't have uh, stations. It was really frustrating because we were heading out to... Um, Battle, Battle guys, I think, the giant sun, and I kind of axed that ages, just because it was so far, and I got tired of jumping and scooping fuel every five seconds, so I just decided, nah, we're not going to do that, we're just going to mess around in the core of the system. I actually did get robbed Four, yesterday, three, uh, two, I was doing trading, one, actually, was it this route, I think it might have been this route, but I was doing some trading and some guy came and robbed me. I wasn't actually recording, I was just doing it just off camera, but I did hit F9 and started recording, so I might throw that in right now just to show you guys. Just because it's funny. I mean, I was typing to the guy, and he was, he was, he was the nicest pirate ever. He was, very, he was very cordial about the whole thing. Nope, looks like we got a pirate after us right now. And I forgot to say, that guy did kind of disappear. Um, but I think that was an instance bug, because he messaged me later. Here she added me as a friend. And I think this guy is going to try and interdict us right now. Oh, let's, just, let's just try and jump. Oh, jeez, there it goes. Alright, we could probably escape this. Or we could go fight him and blow him out of the sky. Let's see, what uh, what kind of ship is he? Oh, he's an expert covert. <laughs> yeah, let's... let's... Alright, let's, let's close that. Let's fight this sucker. Induction FSD failure. Okay. Ah, oh, he's laughing. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. You don't know what you've come across. Under attack. Oh, no. Oh, no, he'd he be shooting me. Come on. Now you die, victim. It's very weird for him to call me a victim. Kind of like it. It's kind of like admitting he's in the wrong. Like, does he know? Is he self-aware power? Does he know that he's a bad guy? And light him up. Oh, jeez. Sorry, there was a dog hair in my tongue, so I was trying to get that off. And... Uh, da -da -ba -ba. Uh. Mm. What? Did we not get a... I was yawning. Did we not get a bounty for that? What? Let's destroy his remains. <laughs> All right, well, let's head back out. Look at that little piece of metal. Woo. One more jump to our destination. Yeah, that guy that robbed me yesterday, he was very nice about the whole thing. You know, it's good to see this honor among thieves. I was actually surprised I, kind of, I ran into another uh, player out here because I thought I was far away, but I guess I'm not too far. Because normally those pirates just kind of hang out on like um rare resource. No, sorry, um rare commodity routes because there are publicly known trade routes that are very profitable but there are going to be a lot of pirates. I actually got held up by one of them in the first series. I, I was in a little type 6 that had no shields just because I get, I sold my shield generator for um, more cargo space and some guy uh, actually gluttony fang. I think I've told this story before but he uh, came and robbed me. But he, he, was, he was also very nice about it. He's like, you shouldn't be a uh, Trading rare commodities in a Type 6 with no shields. I mean, he was in an Imperial Clipper and he was all decked out with red. It's pretty awesome looking. Alright, so we're just heading over to Green Dock. Uh, we're going to drop off these superconductors and then we're going to pick up some... What do we get? Imperial Slave, that's right. I think uh, with these superconductors we'll get about 67,000 credits, so not a ton. But for the Imperial Slaves, I think we get around 111,000, so we end up getting like near 190,000 credits um, for this quick run. And it's that's, that's, that's like uh, almost 200,000 credits in, what, 10 minutes? It'll probably take 20 minutes to complete the run. 
But it's not, it's not horrible. It's not great. I'm sure there are much better trade runs out there. But in my current situation, eh, I'll take it. It's just mindless work. Though it's, at this stage, it's not nearly as profitable as bounty hunting. So I'd like to try and find another resource extraction site. Just kind of, just kind of mill in. Get some python kills. Rack up that dough. I did get, oh, when I was bounty hunting the other day. I killed two Fertilances in a row, and they were both worth uh, over 200,000 credits. Yeah, it was pretty freaking sweet. And I'm really pissed I lost all that money. Because right now, I would have, like, what, over 5 million credits right now if I hadn't done that? Yeah, and that'd be, like, what, 12 to 10 million credits combined with the value of my current ship? Hmm... Was very very disappointing. Okay, come on, Green Dock. There are these cool planets. Um, kind of it's a, like a binary planet system. They're very close to each other. It's pretty interesting. I think you can actually see both of them from this dock. So let's just get in here real quick. Commander Death Call has come online. I've got so many people requesting friends. <laughs> I'm afraid at some point someone's gonna- oh, that guy said hi. Hoi hoi. I never actually responded. Sorry. So many people sending friend requests. It's kind of redonkulous. But not too many of them are online at once. Alright, let's go ahead and request docking. Docking request granted. Thank you. Let's see, is it just the one on the roof right there? That'd be convenient. So I can just kind of Zip in there and do an auto duck. Alright, let's kill the engines. Faster, faster. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Auto dock, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Landing gear deployed. <laughs> oh, that was my fault Locking just because I was going way too fast. Oh, I can't see the other planet. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that was one of the, one of the single greatest landings I have ever done, even with an auto docking computer. <laughs> oh, okay, so we can go ahead and drop off these superconductors. Don't want to go too fast. Come on. I hate when it goes like. See, I hate when it does that. Just go to the go to the max. I like to see what we're getting at. So. 67,000 credits, and then we're going to pick up 56 tons of Imperial Slaves, and that costs Cargo quite a bit. At maximum capacity. It costs like three quarters of a million credits, I think. Imperial Slaves. Well, someone's got to do the work, right? And then we're going to go ahead and set our destination. I wish there was a way to bookmark systems. I don't know why there isn't. Like, they're consistent, right? They're persistent. They don't change. So why the hell can't I bookmark them? Okay, I'll oh, go here. Just check here. See if there's anything worth doing. Doubt there is. Man, this used to not take as long. Mm. Yeah, they want me to steal goods. Nope, just stealing goods, and I'm not very interested in that. Hmm. Not one bit. Alright, so we got plus four jumps to our next system. We're back to the original system to complete this little trade loop. You can make more complicated loops that have more stops. Um, I could probably try and make, make some up of my own that are a bit more profitable or I'd, I probably wouldn't do my own I'd just Landing continue to use that uh, tool the EDDB to IO because it seems like a lot of boringness to try and constantly be figuring out trade routes come on let me boost there we go alright we'll head back there and I'll catch up with you guys uh, once we're ready to deliver these unless something exciting happens along the way which it may or may not Okay, okay, oh. Well, I was lucky. I was being interdicted by a vulture. That would have not been good. 
Um, I don't think he was that great. I think he was just an expert or something. I probably could have taken one. But I really would prefer not to tempt fate. I don't know. I haven't really fought many vultures. So I guess I wouldn't really know what to expect. Eh. Oh well. Alright. Made it back to Seki Seki Vision. Seki Seki Vision. And now we should be able to sell. Where'd they go? Where'd the slaves go? Okay. They didn't escape. Yeah, we get two th at least 2,000 profit on each one. That brings our grand total profit there to 113,000. Not too bad. So yeah, that's 180,000 credits in around 20 minutes. So that's not bad. So every hour you could make, what, around 500,000 credits in an hour? I don't know. Trading like that, even though it's okay money, I don't know. It's 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 not it's not the funnest thing for me. It's actually, I enjoy it, but not when I'm recording. Um, like I, I was doing, I normally do it off camera, or just like watching Netflix and chilling or something. It's 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 calming. It's space trucking, you know. It's like Euro Truck Simulator, but in space. Let's see any good bullet missions here. Unlikely. Come on, you. Alright, ooh, expert compliance technician. Alright, dude, expert. Retire elderly equipment. Due to a series of unfortunate events, the Corn Empire groups in need of experience. Come back to technician capable of handling a particularly sensitive assignment. Oh. So we have to retire the hero? Hmm. I don't wanna. I don't wanna hurt a bad guy. And these things, I think they have to be able to be, you have to be able to mine. Because uh, as it stands right now, these resources aren't on the EDDB.io database. Hmm. But yeah, I think in the next episode, guys, we'll, um, do they have anything good here? No, they just have boring stuff. They have type 9, though. Whew. Hey guys, in the next episode we'll probably do some more exciting. We'll probably uh, head up from here, do some exploring, and maybe look for a resource extraction site. Oh yeah, I was talking to uh, Death Call. <laughs> Whatever guys, leave a like if you enjoyed want to see more Elite Dangerous in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.